start this off with uh, talking about your band name. Tell us a little bit about your band name, how you came up with it, and what exactly it means to you guys. Hi Ryan, how are you? Uh, please welcome to our living room. Uh, this is our Christmas tree. We de de decorated it about uh, four days ago with my girlfriend, Maria. Um, okay, E-mute, E-mute stands for electric mute. Electric because it's rock and then mute has a, a very metaphorical meaning for me. Um, before I started E-mute, um, I was working as a, as a drummer. I was playing for a lot of different people and it was very, very good fun. But at the same time, you have to take on jobs that you don't always like because it's a job. Um, so many times I had to play with people that I didn't like the music which meant that, first of all, I was just the drummer. I couldn't say anything about the music. Uh, I couldn't change anything. And all I had to do was perform, get paid, and <laughs> go. Um, and because I was writing, I wasn't so keen. So I decided to quit and focus 100% on what I want to do with music, which is Immute. So take a couple minutes and just introduce every single person in the band. Right. Immute is not exactly a band, Ryan. Immute is more like a project. Immute is me, so I write music, lyrics, arrangements. Uh, I record pianos, drums, synthesizers, vocals. And then I take these projects to John Robertson's home studio, uh, who is an amazing guy. and we record everything on top of that. Uh, now at gigs, in the beginning we had Darren Ashford on drums, Dolly Zavaliaris on guitars, Svetlana Vasilev on bass. These guys are very, very busy musicians, so um, at some point we had to find people to replace them because they couldn't do every gig. Um, so we also had Neil coming to play drums, Ellen coming to play drums, and Damien coming to play Oh, sorry. Ellen coming to play bass and Damien coming to play bass as well. Um, so, yeah, it's cool that all of these guys are coming to help out. But it's not exactly a band. It's more of a project. Yeah, so what is your ultimate goal with your music? What do you want to accomplish? What I want to accomplish? That's a difficult question. Um, since I was a kid, I fell in love with music. All I wanted to do was listen to a lot of music, play a lot of music, learn more music, and that's what I have been doing since then. Um, I guess for me it's a way of life. It's something that I do that is part of me. Um, earning a good living would be a very good option um, because I am doing something else at the moment to 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 pay my my bills. Um, but then you have to go through through this period. Uh, it's the start, it's the second year of a mute, and it just takes time. But then, at the moment, I really love that I took the decision to um, do exactly what I wanted to do. And that's, you know, making my own music. Time to reflect. What song or artist were you listening to whenever you decided... Yeah, I, I got to do some of that right there. <laughs> that is an awesome question and a, a very difficult one to answer. Um, there's so many good bands out there. Um, first thing I ever listened to um, was Led Zeppelin IV. Uh, I found the album. Uh, I was going through all the records in our house and then I found... Uh, the final record there, it, it was my sister's, uh, and I was like, what is that? Um, then the other song that really, really blew my mind was uh, Nirvana, Smells Like Teen Spirit. That was it. <laughs> Tell me, and your fans and the viewers, who would you all compare yourself to, and what type of genre do you best fit into? I, I guess there is a little bit of news in there, a little bit of Franz Ferdinand, a little bit of Foo Fighters, 
Um, it's definitely alternative rock with some synth sounds and a lot of piano. Um, so yeah, alternative rock, I guess. It's quick. Don't think about this one. What scene in a movie best sums up your all's band's personality? Indiana Jones. He's an archaeologist. He's trying to discover lots of stuff. Uh, lots of people are on his case. So I'm a musician. I'm trying to discover lots of stuff about music. Um, and lots of people are on my case. What is your favorite song that you've either played, written, or been a part of, and why? I would definitely say Miracle. Now, Miracle is a song that I wrote. It, it was actually the first song that, that I wrote uh, on my own. Um, it was during a very, very tough period in my life, a life-changing period. Um, my band with Scott James from the Stereophonics uh, had just split up. My whole musical world collapsed and then my dad was in the hospital dying from cancer. So during that period, all I was doing was uh, to exercise physically, go to, to, to visit my dad and then play piano. I guess playing piano and exercising was a way to, to take all this weight off my chest. Um, so, Miracle came about. The, uh, the opening arpeggio of Miracle, it, it, it's very intense. It's a very intense piano arpeggio. It's... It has a lot of uh, sorrow. It's very intense. The, the song has a lot of anger. Um, and the lyrics are... Call it God, call it energy, call it however you want. I was just having a conversation with whatever is out there. I don't know if there is something out there. Um, kind of like complaining. Um, so it means a hell of a lot to me. You're going to listen to it soon. Firing minds want to know, cowbell or no cowbell? Because personally, I can't get enough cowbell. I say bring on the cowbell. Stranded on a desert island, you get to take one item besides your instrument of choice. What item is that? My iPhone, because then I would be able to call somebody to come and pick me up. What's the last thing that you want to say to your fans? And uh, to make this a little bit more difficult, um, we all know that how important our fans are to us, how important your fans are to you, and how much you appreciate them. So besides appreciation and besides thank you, what's the number one thing that you would like to say to your fans? Well, it's the 15th of December now, uh, today. So I would like to take this opportunity to wish uh, Merry Christmas to all of you guys. I wanted to do a different video for this, but it's a good opportunity, I guess. So. Um, uh, all the best and thank you all for all of your support Joanna Matteo Catherine uh, I'm gonna forget people Pauline um, honey uh, I'm gonna forget people uh, I need to go on Twitter um, hold on a second hold on a second hold on a second Kate um, uh, Ash, uh, oh, I'm so unprepared for this. Ingrid, um, uh, you know what I mean, guys. Kevin, I'm gonna forget so many people. Diane, thank you, all of you, from the depth of my heart. Life is just a miracle